Hello, welcome back. My name is Lutz and this will be a very short tutorial on the calibration of the Vertex instrument because there were a lot of questions from our students how to do that. You remember that we have two components in this system. We have the active transponder and we have the Vertex instrument. And since the measurement of distance is based on ultrasonic sound, we need a calibration whenever the conditions in regard to temperature and air humidity are changing. First of all, we switch on the transponder by just holding it in front of the instrument and just pressing this first button here. And you remember you hear two beeps once the transponder is activated. And now the question is, where is our reference for the calibration? Well, the calibration will be between the back side of this transponder, because we fix it on the tree here. So we like to measure the distance to the front side of the tree. And on the other side, the calibration is the front side of this vertex instrument. In the settings menu, we find a menu for calibration. And in addition, we need a tape because we need to measure exactly 10 meters between the back side of the transponder and the front side of the instrument. And this is what we will do now with the tape. So for this next step of calibration, I have helped by my student Alessandra from Hi. Italy. And she will take the tape and also the transponder. And then we need a 10 meter distance. So I will now switch on the transponder and look for the menu calibration. And once you find this menu, you just confirm with the red button and hold the instrument exactly at zero. And then the vertex is calibrated automatically. Okay, you have seen in this case the difference was not too big in the calibration. It was a difference of only 10 centimeters. But if you start working in the morning at zero degrees and you have 20 degrees temperature in the afternoon, it can also be a difference of 20, even 25 centimeters. And this will influence all of your measurements, not only the distance measurements, but also the height measurements. And therefore you should calibrate whenever there are big, bigger changes in the environmental conditions. So this was a very short video on this calibration. Thank you very much and see you in one of our next videos.